Chantry from Matt Cosmetics. Welcome to the Autumn Winter 2009 trend presentation. Well, I have this, I, I always think that everyone has beauty within. I really do. And I also think that, you know, for me, I like to, instead of put a lot of makeup onto somebody, I prefer to really work with their bone structure, like pull the beauty out of them, as it were, when I'm doing something a little bit more natural and working with, okay, let's say eyeliner, why would I put it here? And does it make sense for that person's eye shape? And I'm just talking about what I'm doing, sort of, you know, sort of everyday makeup, something a little bit more on the natural side. I really like to respect a person's bone structure and their personality. Talking about personality, if let's say you are commissioned to work on a stranger, mm. and you have that few minutes to get to know that person, yeah. how do you pick what is their personality? And, and they're all wearing, and, and she's wearing all black. And no accessories, <laughs> so do you know the kind of person she is? I would smell her and see what perfume she has on. <laughs> <laughs> She's Chanel, and she, she believes in a, a woman's scent, and she wears nothing. What, wears nothing, okay, perfect. Well, you know what, honestly, like, my first question for someone is like, all right, let's talk makeup. What do you love? What do you hate? What can you never see yourself wearing, or what have you always wanted to look like? And then I start to kind of get to know someone that way. When we start talking the language of beauty, then I kind of get to know who they are. And then it depends. I think a woman, you know, in a lot of ways, it's her responsibility to tell me, you know, well, this is what I love, this is what I don't like. Sometimes people go, oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, how do you not know? I think you know. I think everyone knows. And I'll say to them, you know, do you want me to just do what I think would work? And it's like, sure. But I'm a makeup artist. I'm very interactive. I love feedback from people. You know, I like to really work and be collaborative. Like, how do you like this so far? Are you liking this gold eyeshadow I'm using? Or would you ever wear this color? So I like to really try to interact with people. What's the best tip you can give Asian women like us? What's the best tip? The best tip for Asian women is a tip I would give to any woman, and that's to just use your imagination, you know, have fun with your makeup. You know, I think that when I start to classify, like, you know, all the Asian women are very different. You two look very different. You're different women. You have different personalities. You have different styles. So I think that my, my tip for any woman is just have fun with your makeup, you know. The good thing about makeup, it's the ultimate disposable accessory. It washes off. Do you think is the most challenging to apply? The skin. The skin. Yeah. The skin. I think skin because I think that skin is your canvas. And I think that if your skin, for instance, like, you know, if some people have skin issues and if you don't if you're if you're not trying to like um, work with that and you're just going right for your fun stuff and the makeup and the lips and everything and you skip over that canvas, it really makes a big difference. So when, if you've taken care of the skin, um, then everything else I think looks really beautiful and really nice. But I think the most challenging thing for me as a makeup artist is to work with people that are resistant to change. That's my biggest challenge. Eyes, you can do eyes, you can do lips, you can cover scars, you can take away redness. But I think if somebody has you know, a real resistance to trying something new, that's the biggest challenge. When I'm talking about the difference between video and high definition, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What does that yeah. mean? I'm going to tell you. A little rhetorical. No, no, it's true. Well, back in the old days, you know, not even that long ago, video had a way of blurring things. You know, so um, with high definition, working in this medium now, high definition TV is like doing a really tight unretouched beauty photograph okay so everything has to be perfect with video there were a lot of makeup artists that would you know like oh I'm just gonna do a hard crease and not blend it because on video it'll look blended or sometimes the foundation wasn't blended the right way but on video it looks soft and natural you can't get away with that anymore on high definition and I, you know I'm, I always joke I'm a Virgo so everything has to be perfect and I always want to make sure that my makeup looks flawless as possible so you know I really pay attention I think all makeup artists it's their responsibility to pay attention to their their medium so on my face what should I improve on? what one mistake have I done? nothing <laughs> your mistake is thinking you've made a mistake you know you've done a beautiful job on your makeup both of you I mean it's like mm -hmm. makeup should be fun no take the compliment lady <laughs> I don't give them out very often no I do I do, I do. I'm just kidding. Okay, so you've worked with many celebrities before, right? Yes. Which is your favorite? Who's the nicest? You know what's so best? funny? Um, well, I, I have to say, you know, in my experience, celebrities are just like human beings. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like us. They may have more money. They may have a personal chef. 
But I'm really, really lucky in my 20 years as, as of being a makeup artist. I've worked with just incredible people, and um, I have so many different favorites. You know, there's. I mean, I can't really say I have one favorite because I really enjoy the clients that I work with. Most of my clients I've been working with between five, 10, 15 years. So, you know, it's always nice when I meet someone new. And I think that, you know, as far as celebrities go, I mean, it's just like any human being. I think sometimes there's gonna be a really good connection. Every now and again, there might not be that connection, but it's not a bad thing. It's just a human experience. I love Dita. Dita's amazing, yeah. I do. She's wonderful. Dita and I have been working together for several years. And um, we're almost like brother and sister in our relationship. Like, she's just a lovely person to work with. She's not afraid of makeup. Um, she has such a great, amazing look. And I love that she's one of these women who just takes an effort. You know, she pays attention to her makeup every single day and her hair and her clothing. And I think she should be a good example to women to, you know, take a little bit more effort in their look every day. So, what do you think makes a woman smart and modern? I think what makes a woman smart, smart and modern is a woman who's not afraid to take chances, not afraid to evolve. In my experience, I've noticed that a lot of women will get the chicest new haircut, you know, which is fabulous. <laughs> They'll wear a cute, trendy little dress, but sometimes they get nervous to change their makeup. And I think that I, makeup, like I said, it's an accessory if you want it to be. Yes, it can enhance your beauty. Um, yes, it can, um, you know, sort of change the way you look and feel, but I think that it also could be fun. You know, you might feel like, hey, I want to be bold. I want people to listen to me today. I'm going to wear a red lip, you know, or I feel really springy right now. I want to put some green eyeshadow on. It's fun. I think that women should take more chances. That's right. Frugalista. Um, I, my guess, I don't technically know this definition, but I would think that a frugalista is a girl who looks fabulous on a budget. Am I right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Bianca. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And it was a pleasure meeting you as well. You guys are awesome. Of course.